banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to that special classic game room time in your life for a mock or a muck where you play a knockoff Ed 209 that runs around underwater and shoots sharks with missiles. Enjoy. Any game that lets you shoot sharks with missiles and underwater goons with lasers can't be all bad and a mock isn't all bad. It's it's not all good either, but for a 1996 release on the Saturn, it is pretty cool. Emergency assignment! Looks like we'll have to get into our underwater battle droid thing and run amok. Hence the title of the game, although if you look at it just by itself, it seems more like amok. I'm not sure, but what's important here is that there's things that need blown up underwater, and you are going to do it. Out of my way, sharks! I've got to blow up a prison or a power plant or force field or something. Amok doesn't do a great job with storytelling, but it does play well for a 96 release on the Saturn, and I think it looks pretty good too, although it's definitely way too dark. Okay, I get it, we're underwater and it's murky and kind of miserable, but turn up the lights or something. After a while, everything looks pretty much the same, even though there's several different levels and environments. This would probably be considered a third-person shooter, and for a 1996 release, it's a pretty early game in that genre. It definitely takes some inspiration from Duke Nukem and Doom, and that's alright by me. There's lots of hidden stuff everywhere, so shoot everything. In some missions, you run around on foot, in others, it's more like a submarine. If you dig into a muck, I think you'll find it packs some pretty good challenge, even if it's not the most visually exciting game. For what it's worth, it does play really well with the Sega Saturn controller. Not always the case for games like this. This makes good use of the six buttons on the Sega Saturn controller for guns, missiles, and bombs. You can move left and right if you want to dodge shots, and it pretty much goes where you point it. Each level has several different objectives that you must complete in order if you get through them all and make it to the next series of levels, you get a password continue. There you go. Now, three minutes into the review, I'm going to talk about the most memorable feature in Amok, which is obviously the music which has that great mid-90s industrial style done by famous video game composer, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right, Jesper Kidd. Or Kide, not sure how you pronounce that. But he does great work. As evidenced here. It definitely fits the dark, dystopian, futuristic style of the game, and while I don't think this is the most exciting Sega Saturn release, I gotta admit, it's it's pretty fun. And I'm pretty sure you can find a muck for next to nothing these days. It's not a game anybody ever talks about. It's easy on the ears, and it plays pretty well too, so a big thanks to Mike from Galloway Township, New Jersey, for sending this to the show. It's taken me a while to get to it, but I've enjoyed it, especially the music, and hopefully a few of you listening will pick it up as well. And by Galloway Township, New Jersey, I mean Galloway Township, New, New Jersey! Jersey. 